The following video demonstrates how to fit and set up an ECHOMOVE patient turning system. Position the ECHOMOVE air chamber system and protective blue cover centrally on the base of the bed. Check the sensors are lying completely flat. There are two sensors which can be detached and repositioned depending on the width of the patient. They can be moved out for wider patients and closer together for slimmer patients. To check you have positioned the air chamber system the right way up on the bed, the writing should be visible on the air bladders. It is important the air chamber encapsulates the patient's shoulders, so make sure the top of the system is positioned just under the bottom edge of the pillow. To secure the air chamber system to the bed and prevent lateral movement, there are four straps that should be attached to the base of the bed. The straps must be attached to the moving parts of the profiling bed and be directly diagonally towards each corner. Use the D-rings to secure. The next step is to attach the air tubes to the lower end of the air chamber system. The left tube should attach to the left air bladder and the right tube to the right air bladder. The air tubes are marked red and blue to denote left and right and this correspond, corresponds with the marking on the control unit. Feed the air tubes and sensor lead through the base of the bed keeping the cables clear of any moving parts. On the underside of the control panel, there are three sockets. Attach the sensor lead to the black socket and the air tubes to the blue and red sockets. The power on off switch is also on the underside of the control panel. The system is now set up and ready for programming. The mattress can be placed back on the bed at this point. The ECMO should be plugged in at the mains and then turned on using the switch under the control unit. You will see the software version number and the percentage of memory capacity left on the memory card rolling across the screen. The word empty then runs across the screen and the system will automatically withdraw all air from the air chambers and calibrate the sensors. Calibration takes approximately five minutes, but it is important to complete the process. Once calibration is complete, the screen displays the standard factory setting, LNR, meaning left, neutral, right, 20 degrees, 20 minutes. There are other program options, which are LR, left and right turns, eliminating neutral, LN, left turn and neutral, eliminating right, RN, right turn and neutral, eliminating left, P5, a specialist program for complex needs. Select the program you want to use. To change the angle, press and hold the angle button and use the up and down arrows to select the angle required. To change the dwell time, press and hold the time button and use the up and down arrows to select the time required. When using P5, program the left and right angles and left and right dwell times individually. To do this, press and hold program button and when the L starts flashing, set to the desired angle and dwell time. Once complete, press the program button again and the N will start flashing and the dwell time should be set. Repeat the process on the right side, setting the angle and dwell time. Once selections are made, press stop. The system is now ready to use. Press start and you will hear a series of clicks. As the air cham chambers begin to inflate, the screen will first show the angle that is being achieved. 
Do not worry if at first the screen shows a minus angle degree. It will soon adjust and you'll see the system beginning to inflate and rise. Once the desired angle has been achieved, the screen will show the dwell time remaining. At any point, you can press, you can press the time or angle buttons to check the status. Of For the safety of the patient, there are a number of error codes to alert you that action is required. The most common is XPOS error, which is when the backrest on the bed has been raised too high. On this model, you can see the word backrest on the screen. Just lower the backrest on the bed and this will disappear from the screen and the system will restart automatically. All other error codes, you will be required to restart the device and information can be found on these in the user manual. Of a CPR emergency or to deflate the system quickly, squeeze the clips on the air tubes where they connect to the control unit. For some patients, clinicians may prefer to use the leg extension with the standard ECMOVE air chamber system. To add the leg extension, firstly disconnect the air tubes from the air chamber system. Use the connectors on the top end of the leg extension kit to attach to the air chamber system and then reconnect the air tubes to the bottom of the leg extension kit. Always ensure the left and right air tubes are connected correctly.